Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, June 5th. I'm James Spann. Very humid weather continues across the state through early next week with the daily chance of scattered showers and storms. A tropical system comes up on the Gulf Coast Sunday night that could impact parts of the state. Let's take a look. We'll start with the upper air look across the country early this morning. Pretty standard look there for June. The core jet stream, the mid-latitude westerlies over the northern states. Little shortwave trough passing through the Tennessee Valley this morning, producing a few showers. That was the radar at 448. Uh, showers mainly north of U.S. 278, moving to the east. Those will be ending a little later this morning, and more scattered storms form this afternoon. We are mostly in the 70s to start today. Highs in the upper 80s again today. Some spots may be touching 90. On the watch warning map, flash flood watches for parts of southeast Louisiana the Gulf Coast of Mississippi in advance of the tropical system, also for South Florida, severe thunderstorm watches for parts of Missouri and Iowa, and red flag warnings for some of the western states because of the danger of wildfires. Could see a few severe storms west of Alabama today. Got a slight risk, the standard risk over much of Arkansas and some of the adjacent states, but that does not involve Alabama. Tomorrow, an enhanced risk over South Dakota. And then Sunday, an enhanced risk again for parts of the Dakotas and Minnesota. And on the Gulf Coast, we have a marginal risk as Cristobal will be approaching. And there could be a few brief uh, water spouts or, or tornadoes with a spiral bands in advance of that uh, during the day Sunday or Sunday night. Take a look at the QPF. This is the rain for the next seven days. And, of course, the uh, east is fairly wet. The Gulf Coast wet as the tropical system comes up. And again, keep in mind, this is the rain for the next seven days, uh, suggesting maybe Mobile and Baldwin counties getting about four inches, lighter amounts for the Florida Panhandle, heavier amounts over south Mississippi, southeast Louisiana. So let's look at Cristobal this morning. It's a tropical depression that is inland over the Yucatan of Mexico. But that thing will be lifting northward today, and once it gets back over the water, it should regain tropical storm strength. Here's the latest track from the Hurricane Center. The idea stays the same. The track has been very consistent. The confidence is high. It comes into the Louisiana coast Sunday night. A little to the west of New Orleans. The remnant circulation comes up through Arkansas and Illinois. This is the output from the European Ensemble. Members are tightly clustered. Very good agreement. This is the intensity guidance. Again, very good agreement. This does not reach hurricane strength. And understand the water's warm, yes, but there's a lot more to it than that. Uh, Cristobal will be encountering pretty dry air over the Gulf and also moderate shear. So let's go through the modeling on this thing. This is the uh, GFS 06 e run, 4 o'clock today. Again, uh, western is a bit north of here, and like the last couple of days, warm, muggy, a few scattered showers and storms are possible this afternoon. Tomorrow... You can see Cristobal coming up in the Gulf. Will be uh, maybe low 90s. Could be kind of a hot day. And again, uh, evidence we might be in a subsidence ring, sinking air motion on the periphery of that. So uh, showers could be pretty widely scattered. And this is Sunday. And again, for the northern half of the state, uh, looks like showers should be very isolated. Uh, few, if any, for North Alabama. So the weekend relatively dry for the northern half of the state, but obviously. Sunday for the Gulf Coast, rain chances will be increasing. We're getting within range of the CAMs, the uh, convection allowing models. This is Sunday at 1 off the high res NAM. And again, if you got a beach trip, look at the projected radar. You, you can see you just don't have this massive rain shield coming up through there. You'll have rain at times, yes, but I think you'll see some sun at times. The, the big rain shield coming up into Louisiana. Uh, but understand uh, a few things about what you expect this weekend in the Gulf Coast. Rip currents, that'll be a big problem. Red flags will be flying. Uh, in those bands of showers, there could be an isolated water spout or a brief tornado. This is the wind field, uh, and this is 10 meters, not at the surface, uh, about 30 feet off the ground. Uh, and again, you can see the, the wind speeds are 10 to 20 on the Gulf Coast. You'll see maybe gusts to 30, but there's no big wind impact down there. 
So again, if you've got a beach trip to the Gulf Shores, Destin, Panama City for the weekend, I would not hesitate to go. Just be aware. You'll see rain from time to time and uh, rip currents, absolutely. And maybe a brief water spout or an isolated tornado. So Monday, uh, the remnant circulation is on the Louisiana-Arkansas border. And for Alabama on Monday, obviously, we'll mention some chance of showers and storms, but the bigger rain shield should be off to the west. Tuesday, the remnant circulation is west of Chicago. And really, that might be a day with deeper moisture. Uh, We'll have maybe scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms. Same thing on Wednesday, highs in the 80s. This is Thursday. Evidence of a surface boundary coming in through here. And then Friday, got troughing to the north, and the GFS holds that front up, which is pretty common. They rarely make it through here in June, but the European continues to suggest we'll be in much drier air Thursday and Friday of next week. So we'll mention just an outside chance of a shower toward the end of next week. Uh, Look at the dew points coming in off the European, showing those nice shades of blue. Again, that doesn't happen that often here, but it can sometimes in June. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 14th, troughing in the northwest, ridging here, and that looks pretty quiet. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Members, of course, with a big range because of the scattered nature of the showers and storms. The mean between 1.5 and and 2 inches. And temperatures, uh, low 90s uh, perhaps today, tomorrow, Sunday. Then mostly 80s and lows dropping in the 60s in about six days or so. And I like that. Look at the shades of blue on that map. This is the CPC outlook June 12th through June 18th, suggesting below average temperatures over much of the eastern U.S. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.